Hey guys, what's going on? So this is going to be number two in the series. I know we talked about extending the tour quest. We're not going to. I'm actually going to start one called my my mod. Okay, so I'm going to put an activator in. We did it with a note. This time we're going to get a little more advanced. We are going to build off this one. The other one gave you a basics of how to go beginning to end to a mod. Put an alias package in. This time we're going to deal with an activator and a message. Uh... A pop-up message to have choices on it. The first thing we're going to do, we're going to start two new quests. Let's ZZZ, and then we'll call it Activate. This is going to be the quest for the Activate. We're going to priority at 50 on both of these, because it's really not going to matter. But we're going to take the run once down, allow repeat stages. We're going to close that out. And let's do one more called ZZZ Dialogue. So, dialogue in the game, you cannot, uh, dialogue will not work unless it's running in a quest. If the quest isn't running, man, I can't spell, the, uh, the dialogue's not going to go, right? So, you, even if you're going to add dialogue, you have to have it inside a quest, and the quest has to be running. Then, from there, you can choose conditions. Uh, allow, repeat, doesn't matter. Do the same thing. We're going to close them both out so we got both quests going. And we're going to get right to there. Now, let's save it. And let's name this my mod. This one we are going to build off, and you're going to see why. You'll figure it out at the end how this is going to work and why it's going to work that way. Okay, so in the activate, we're going to open that back up. We need three quest stages. We're going to need zero. We're going to need 20. And we're going to need 200. So, and then here, that's going to be a startup stage. Get that new so it opens up your box. Here. So, and that is going to be the stage that shuts it down. So right here, if you look over here, there's no scripts, right? So we're going to go back to quest stages. We're going to hit a semicolon and just hit start. We're going to compile. Now when you first set a debug message or anything in here, the reason you have to close everything back out is because it won't allow properties yet. So now we're there. we got that one set up and its script is started. This one we're really not going to need it, but we do need the quest stages. Let's go zero again. Let's go 20, and we really don't need the 20 in this one, but we do need the 200. So on the dialogue one, this is the one we're going to put all our dialogue in. And there's a startup stage. Hit the new there. Hit the new here. Complete quest. OK. So now this is going to be your whole activator right here. But to do this, we need an activator. Let's save our progress. Let's go down to activator. Type in temp. And there's many th different things you can use for an activator, but you've seen this one used in a couple of mines, so we're going to duplicate that applicator. Let's call it uh, whatever it is. Activator. Almost. Swing and a miss. Uh, so then, activate mod. Man, I am fat fingering it today. I think I do every day. Uh, yeah. Activate the mod. Uh, we want to set no because we've already duplicated it. So now our activator is in place. Now the next thing we're going to look for is a message, which is going to be on a miscellaneous. And you want to type in new, and we'll call this my message. Okay. So this is done here. Now we're going to put the a little ZZZ to bring everything in. Now we're going to open up this message here. Uh, I'm just going to put this as a test. Uh, why don't we center it? Just for something to do. I'm sure there's a, another way to do it, but it, I just... I'm going to add three buttons. So the first button is going to be start. Second button is going to be stop. Third button is going to be cancel. So these three buttons will show up on the menu, uh, 0, 1, and 2. You'll see where that will come into play in a little bit. So we're going to shut that down. We're going to go into Breeze Home. Uh, let's type in White Run. Let's get to Breeze Home. And I'm going to put it in here for the mod. You can put it wherever you want. Yes to all and all. It's always going to show errors. Now when you get into the window, sometimes, a lot of times, if you haven't been in there before, you're going to see this when you get in there. You're going to see all these different little... If you're in the window, hit M. It'll, shut, it'll hide those for you. So down through the floor, let's click on that, use shift to change our view, 
and then let's go back to activator and let's pull the activator rate yeah, I hate it love the creation when it does this put the activator right inside here bring it forward a little bit drop it down a little bit okay that's into place save our progress double click on the activator take it to scripts we're going to add a new script error will come up <laughs> hit yes to all and so we're going to name we're going to go new script hit OK name it activate script I mean, you can name it whatever you want but uh, extended object reference that's fine hit OK from here so now what we got to add in here is some properties so in C we're going to add a property and our first one will be a message so we'll go to message we'll call this my message close it out now we get to edit the value so if we go to here we hit the ZZZ go down to the bottom the message we created will be the property there now we're going to add another property it's going to be for the quest and it's going to be so we got to find quest in this here there we go this one we're going to name my quest this is only in the property window anyway so the my quest is used in a lot of copy and paste scripts so uh, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to want the activate. So now we got these two properties set in. Now we're going to edit the source. Now I always have, you know me, I type mine out or I've already done it before so I'm not typing it again. And we're going to go to here and this is basically, which I will leave in the description, the script for this. So we're going to go down through. I'd like to type stuff out ahead anyway and that way if I make any mistakes. Now I already see a mistake I made. Uh, all the quest properties are in here. Uh, set my stage active zero. If button zero is hit, set the stage to 20 on my quest, which is one we set up. But what I did do wrong is I put the ZZZ my message in this when I typed it out. So remove that. So it just says in button equals my message dot show. Everything else should be there. And what this is is button zero set stage 20. Button one 200. Button two nothing. Uh, that's what the cancel button will be. So you're going to go file and save. Zero warning, zero errors. Oops, close it out. So we actually have that set up to go. Yeah, let's save our progress. So when you click on it, that menu is going to show up. All right. So let's go back into the quest. So now what we want to do, and we're really not going to run a lot of the quests today. We're actually going to go back into dialogue quests f just for this tutorial. Let's change the name to dialogue quest. Uh, we're going to set it to a uh, side quest. We'll set it to 50. No start game enable. None of that other stuff. But we want this to show up. So we have the quest stage here. We want this to show up for testing purposes. So there you go. Uh, let's get back over to activate. Let's open this back up. So when you hit stage 20, you're going to want to so I like to type stuff out. You're going to want to start the dialogue quest. So to do that, first thing we're going to do is add a property in here. So in this quest, we're going to go in the in the uh, properties, in this quest too, because it's stage 20. I'm going to name it ZZ Dialogue. Now I gave it the same name as the quest, because when I do that, it'll autofill. So now I don't, even if I go over here, see, it, it's already set up. So if we go to here, and that should be the properties in there. So it's stage 20. Now we're going to go to our trusty little, I've already typed this out a thousand times, crap. And then I spend more time finding what I'm looking for. So we're going to change this while we're here to CDZ dialogue. Almost. Swing and a mess. Boy, I'm not good at typing that word, am I? And so what this is going to say, set stage zero. Oh my god. I am tearing this apart. So uh, then I'll just copy and paste this because I actually hate typing in always. It's annoying. I hate texting. I hate all of it. So after the years of doing it, I just kept copying and pasting it and change it out as I need it. So here, so when 20 is hit, this is going to start, compile it, the dialogue quest. So when the button is hit, activate stage 20 in the activate quest, the button is hit. So to double check that, even though it'll show there if we go back in and take a debug message. 
which I'm sure I got one here somewhere. And we drop this in too. And then put... Oh, yeah. Jesus, did I miss it again? There we go. Dialogue has started. So, if you were going to add dialogue to the quest, you have to get the quest to start. So instead of going through a read a note, oh my god, your dialogue started. You can make different activators in there. So let's compile this. So the other button 2 went to 20, right? So we're going to go back and steal something. We're just going to steal this one right here. I'm going to copy it. I'm going to go back here. Let's paste in 200. So now it sets it to stage 200, which would be the closing out quest. From there, I'm just going to type in stop real quick. So when this comes through, uh, it'll stop this quest. It'll s put your other quest to an end. Uh, we're going to steal the debug message as well. Throw that in here, and uh, dialogue is stopped. We'll change that to that. So you can see what everything's doing. Dialogue has stopped. Now compile that. This is all set now to, and I know I go fast sometimes. I really don't have a lot of time to do this, guys. I'm trying to show you through it, and hopefully you can figure it out while you do it. If we go, there's zero, there 20 we didn't need. So if it sets up to 200, uh, we might as well pop this in here too. Hit stop. Compile. We don't need the objectives. We didn't put any in. So that's why I didn't add the objective thing and all that other stuff. So this is going to be the start we're going to build from here. So with this activator, if I added another quest, let's say we added the tour quest, and then we tied it into here, and we called it ZZZ the tour, and we went into where 20 is, and so below here, we lowered this down, and then we changed ZZZ the tour, set stage 0, set active, down here. That would start that quest as well. So we can start it and stop it. Uh, this is why we have... Allow repeat stages here. We probably should put that on the other one too. Allow repeat stages. I'm not going to add any dialogue today so I don't got a lot of time, but I wanted to set up the activator and get you to learn how to activate a quest. From here, you can start adding dialogue in with conditions. Go and click your activator, it'll start the quest, and then you can go test out your dialogue and come back in and shut it back down. So save your progress on everything. We should be done here. We're going to jump into game right now and we're going to test this out to start and stop the quest. I'll see you inside. So we're inside the game. Now, I remember, you got to go in and you got to you got to activate an ESP file to get this running, okay? So, in the dialogue quest that was in there, we didn't put any script where it said the start. We opened it up, but usually you put a quest objective or something in there, even a semicolon or something and to show the quest starting. And that's fine, but as long as the debug message comes up, so it's not going to show the dialogue quest is running even though it is. Well, how you doing? Anyways, so here, now we this is the activator we put in. So if we activate it, the act, even though you don't see it, as soon as we activated it, it started the activate quest. So we have three options here. Start it. Dialogue has started. Now, even though it didn't show up the dialogue quest, you don't need that to show up because you don't want to see that in your main menu part if it's just for dialogue. But if I choose to, I didn't like it, I want to shut it all down, I hit stop, It'll show you. Completed dialogue quest. Dialogue is stopped. You stopped all quests in the game. Now, if you saved at this point, you could actually remove this mod without issue. So, we remember we put repeat stages. We checked that. I could start it back up. Dialogue is started again. Dialogue is stopped again. So, this is a good way to test your mod. So, if you get into a game, you start it and save at this point once you have it in there, and then you can... Come in and out and test what you want to start so you can test different things. Uh, the other button, the cancel, all that does is remove the box. Right? So every time you hit stop, it's going gonna, it's gonna to stop everything. This is doesn't give you a lot to go on, but it gives you a more advanced starting area of what you can do. You could make something else and activate. You could put a plaque on a wall. All this different kind of stuff. You could start a quest from killing an enemy and on death script. There's many things to do. This is the one we're going to build on, though, guys. All right, so I'm actually going to do one of how to do Lover's Lab or Sex, sex Lab script. Obviously, YouTube ain't going to take that. And from there, I'm going to upload it 
onto Lover's Lab with that video being downloaded with some script with it of what you're going to need. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed. Keep this mod going because this is where we're going to build from here. Now we can add quest. We can walk in here and we can start the quest and we can stop the quest. Okay? I hope this helped, guys, and I'll see you next time.